You can't see me with my glasses. Hi. So this is going to be a, oh, should I change my shirt? That's me. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's kind of a unboxing slash haul video of magazines. For those that don't know, I'm always looking for magazines and books of things that inspire me. I like to think that I'm a collector, but really I'm a hoarder. I'm obsessed with all the books that I find. I won't buy it unless I'm utterly obsessed with it. And I've come across a few books. With that being said, I haven't bought just a lot of magazines slash books in a really long time. I want to say like a little bit under a year ago was the last time that I kind of went like a little bit crazy. I want to show you guys all the magazines that I got in hopes that you just watch this video. Well, also maybe there's a magazine that you never knew about and you want to check them out or something. I don't know. This is a weird introduction. I'm not good with talking, so we're just going to get into it. I'm going to start with this book right here. It's called Stick and Skate, and it is a sticker book with the brands Huff, Almost, Chocolate, and Flip. They are skateboarding brands, and they do a lot of really cool designs for skateboard stickers, boards, even apparel. What's interesting about this book though is that their pages are filled with stickers and you can take the stickers off or you can keep them in there for the sake of the book. And there's also uh, little biographies about almost chocolate and there's some really cool spreads as well. I got this book off of Amazon. Really cool book and also worth the read. The little excerpts that they include, definitely worth the read. So these four magazines I got off of eBay and I got them in a lot, which is basically just more than one magazine within one purchase. You're buying four magazines for a, like a standard price, I guess. That's what I did anyway. And although I'm not really sure how I feel about this magazine, I really like their imagery and artwork that they include. They also bend the line when it comes to what's okay to publish and what's not. And I also admire that aspect. This is Vice Magazine. <laughs> I got volume 15 issues eight to 11. So this is issue eight and it's called the Sunday's issue. This is my favorite cover by far. Very simple, but really cool. The second issue, issue nine, is the Clowny Clown Clown issue. Another really cool cover. This is issue 10, the talking issue. And then the last issue is called the no photos issue. This issue in particular is really cool because it's literally what it is, no photos. All the imagery that's in here, it's not images, it's artwork, which I think is such an interesting idea. Definitely want to keep up my sleeve somehow, some way. But it's really cool. The cover is really basic, but it says a lot at the same time. And all of these issues, funny enough, have American Apparel ads as their back cover, which I thought was interesting. Okay, so the next magazine, it's King Kong Magazine, and it's issue 13. This is the spring-summer issue of 2022. This is a UK-printed magazine, but I also believe that it's like fully produced in the UK. Their offices are only in Europe. What am I looking at? Um, the stuff that they put in here is like, I wouldn't be surprised if someone finds this a little bit odd. Some of the imagery can be like a little bit disturbing, but in my eyes, I feel like that's setting them apart from others i don't know and the topics that they talk about is just really interesting it's like a different take on the whole thing as uncomfortable as it can be there's still some really cool ideas in here and i hope that more and more people get into them but again king kong magazine i found this magazine in one of the iconic magazine stores in manhattan really cool places to check out if you're looking for magazines or books. These magazines are from a company that I've admired for a really long time. I already have two issues of their magazines from the fall and winter and spring and summer of 2019, and that is Office Magazine. The issues that I got are issue 17 for summer 2022 and issue 15 for summer 2021. The cover for the summer 2021 issue is Manuela Soto Sosa. I feel like this is on trend with a lot of graphic design work that's happening right now. And the cover is by Coffs. I'm pausing for so long because I don't know if I know that photographer or 
designer and I'm scared that I said the wrong thing and it might be. Anyway, and the summer 22 issue, the cover is Pink Pantheris and it is by Petra Collins and Petra Collins is a photographer that I do know. This issue actually is in plastic so I wanted to open it. In the meantime, I will talk about issue 15 from Summer 21. I am a huge fan of Office Magazine just because again, their imagery is insane and also their team is really cool. I love how they lay out their issues. There's this one spread in particular, the photo shoot is called There is a Garden in Her Face and the photography is by Erica Kamano. I am obsessed with this shoot like i cannot get enough i don't know what exactly intrigues me about it but it's just such a cool idea and i just really love it what's also really interesting about office magazine and i didn't say earlier is that they have in the beginning of course an editor's letter but they interview a bunch of different people and they do like a little biography about them and then they ask them a series of questions and i think they're based on that specific issue like what they decide to ask and they're the same to everybody it's just different people that they constantly interview which is really cool i think that like gives a lot of artists and a lot of people a chance to you know share their stuff and their covers right here where it says office it's textured which i love i'm gonna do the magazines that I know and have now grown like a freakishly large collection of. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Haha. <laughs> so the next batch of magazines is of the company Sneeze Magazine or Sneeze Mag. It's a magazine that talks about all things streetwear, whether it's lifestyle, fashion, influencers, and big names in the industry or people rising in the industry, but also skateboarding and that whole culture. There's a lot. I don't know how this happened. I got a few off eBay. Like this one. This came. Ugh. So. Sneeze mag. And then I got a few at Soho News International in downtown Manhattan. This issue is issue 35. And this is from spring 2018. The person who's doing this hill bomb is Pablo Ramirez. And the photographer is Stephen McClintock. I'm so sorry. Since this is a poster size magazine, the spreads themselves are posters. So when you open it up, these aren't binded. You're able to remove them without ripping anything. This concept is a really cool concept. I'm like really stoked by it. This is Sneeze issue 40. And this one also comes with stickers, which is cool. So these stickers are different pins of William Strobeck. Please don't kill me. I'm not entirely sure as to who William Strobeck is. Uh, but these are great. And then this sticker says public release junior executive. Now this issue came out in summer 2019. William Strobeck. <laughs> That's William Strobeck and Tyshawn Jones is this guy. And as you go to the back, he's there. First of all, this, we're ignoring it. Second of all, I'm dumber than I look. And that's saying a lot. I know who William Strobeck is. Please no one come for me. It just took me way too long in that recording to put two and two together. He literally created Cherry. Well, not... Whatever. I know who he is. I'm a dumbass. Let's get on with it. This is Sneeze Mag issue 41. Came with more stickers. How many stickers can a girl get? Too many! Aha! So this one is a sticker of the logo. This says, don't stop the press. And this is just a graffiti word. If I'm being honest, I'm not entirely sure what the word says, but it's a cool design nonetheless. This came out in fall 2019. The front and back cover of this issue is artwork by Ross Blechner and it's untitled. Issue 45, which the plastic is a little bit cocked, but it's okay. The cover photo is of rapper YG, I believe. And the photography is done by Kenneth Capello. I love the colors on this one. I think that it was such a smart choice to go with neon green to show sneeze. So this is a really cool sticker by Slam Jam. And this is another Sneeze logo sticker, and this one's metallic silver, which is cool. So this issue is from fall 2020. This one's really cool because this one came out kind of during the fallout of everything that was going on at the time of the Black Lives Matter movement and COVID, and 2020 was a really hectic year, so I'm very interested to know 
what they put into this issue. I mean, of course, these issues should never be forgotten, but this was released after like the height of everything because I feel like summer 2020 was when everything was just utterly insane. The next issue I have is issue 48. The cover for this issue is a portrait of Cater Silla, a pretty well-known skater in the community. And the photography is done by Kenneth Capello again. This issue is spring 2021. Really cool cover. We're almost done. I know this is a little bit absurd but I'm very grateful. Ha! This issue of Sneeze is issue 49 and the cover is just yellow, but this is the Serving the People issue. This is from summer 2021. The first spread, especially when you take out the rest of the pages to like look at it, really cool. It kind of gives off like high school vibes, like a high school yearbook vibe, which I kind of, I can always appreciate and finally sneeze mag issue 52 this just came out so this one came with stickers as well a sneeze logo sticker one is black and one is black but with pink background oh this one's like a metallic-y sparkly background the cover stars are her and style which is a band and again the photography is by kenneth capello and this is the spring 2022 edition i really love the colors on the front cover though if this is the portrait, you could see it in the corner right there, of Julia Fox for Supreme. And I have a poster of that. I'm gonna bug out. Was this for Sneeze Mag and that's why they were doing it? Oh no, it's literally a Supreme ad. Now, I know it's summer thinking. I'm a little bit fangirling over a Supreme ad. I don't know how I feel right now. Uncut gems. Oh, what is this? Carhartt? Interesting. I need to see the other side. Oh, okay. It's just this one picture which is cool i really like that a lot will i take apart any of these and possibly hang them up in my room i really don't think i ever will because i feel like it all goes together and it has to stay together it doesn't have to but it's like my brain is telling me that's what you have to do you don't really have a choice and then this is the back cover they're crowd surfing that's cool what a great issue all of these issues i've probably said a minimum three times great spread great <laughs> content or <laughs> Just sounding like a boss, like approving everything, which I had no right in doing. But yeah, really great stuff. If you don't, you should go ahead and follow Sneeze Mag. Every step that they do, I would even go ahead and say subscribe to their subscription list. You get four magazines. They include the shipping in their prices already. It's definitely worth it, especially if you're into this type of culture or you're just looking for some type of inspiration. Just do it. Just do it! And to put the cherry on top, you get all of these really cool stickers for free. So that's it. If you made it this far, wow, I'm surprised I didn't bore you but I'm happy I didn't. That's my haul for the next year and a half, two years, most likely, unless, you know, like gifts and stuff. If you guys want like more videos like this, feel free to let me know. Uh, I kind of liked sitting down and talking about something that I like and I don't get to talk about a lot. Also, I didn't mention before, but a really big reason why I collect magazines the way that I do is because if you don't know, I own a magazine, Concrete Jungle Magazine, it's good to see like what everybody's doing and how they're laying things out, how their websites look even, not to completely copy it, but to see what's working and what's not. It's basic research, I like to think. I will be listing the stores that I went to down below, just in case if you're in the New York area or are visiting sometime soon, if you wanna go check these stores out. That being said, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope to see you next time. Who knows what the next video will be because this was out of left field. Anyway, bye!